It's excellent uh, for you to join us uh, because we're still multiplying a matrix by another matrix. Uh, one matrix multiplied by a second one. And some of you think this is very difficult. I do not agree with you. Uh, I do agree that we have to take some extra attention and care with our work here. Okay. First of all, just to make sure I can actually multiply it. This is a 2 by 3 matrix. Uh, so I look at the order. If I have some ink, a 2 by 3. I'll get a new pen. So that's a two by three matrix, two rows and three columns. And my second matrix is a three by three matrix. And if I want to be able to multiply one matrix by the other, those inner numbers have to be the same. Well, they're both a three, so indeed I am able to multiply them. Now, a piece of advice I'm gonna give you, your answer is going to be a matrix of the order two by three in this particular case. Okay, so the outer numbers will always be the order of your answer. So two by three. So if I will write my answer here in a minute, two by three. So the order is gonna be a two by three, which means two rows. So I'm gonna have numbers there and three columns. All right, so my answer, I should have a number on each dot if you like. Okay, that's always good to tell you because uh, again, we have to take extra care while doing this. All right, now just to save myself some space, I'm gonna skip a few steps. So really uh, listen carefully and hopefully you have seen my first video on this already. Yeah, because I said we're going horizontally in the first matrix and vertically in the second. All right, so if I'm multiplying, I have four times five, which is 20. I'm just gonna write down 20 now, not four times five. Yeah, plus two times zero, which is zero, plus three times two, which is six. All right, there we go, I'll just put that in brackets. Yeah, that's my first number. And then I go to the next one, next column, four times eight, yeah, I'm just gonna write down 32, yeah, four times eight, two times one, so that's plus two, yeah, plus three times four, so plus 12. All right, it's hardly going to fit, but I'm going to try the last one, four times three, which is 12, plus two times four, which is eight, plus three times six, which is 18. Hardly fits. All right, anyway, horizontally, vertically. Eh? So again, four times five, plus two times zero, plus three times two, finished. Four times eight, plus two times one, plus three times four, finished, yeah? And please see how I use my fingers as well, eh? and I am, 34 years old, yeah, I still use my fingers for this, yeah, that's fine, nothing wrong with that. Okay, we continue now, because I've done these, now I drop a row and I do this, the same thing, but now with seven, two, and one. So, seven times five, 35, plus uh, two times zero, which is zero, plus one times two, which is two. Okay, and we go to the next column, seven times eight, which is uh, 56, plus two times one, which is two plus one times four, which is four. And finally, uh, back here, seven times three, 21, plus two times four, which is eight, plus one times six, okay. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six pieces of information. And as I already said to myself, that's what I'm looking for, a two by three matrix, yeah? Because the outer numbers are going to be the order of my new matrix. So what is 20 plus zero plus six? That is 26, I'm gonna put a 26 there. Yeah, 32 plus two, 34 plus 12, 36, so that is gonna be 46 over there. Yeah, and now you just finish it at 20, 30, 38. All right, and here we have 37. We write it down, and 56, 58 plus four is 62. And finally, 29 plus 6 is 35. Okay, so that is my answer, my solution. Multiplying one matrix by another matrix, yeah? And it's not difficult, but you have to take, yeah, care of your work. Of course, you always have to do that, but especially when you're multiplying a matrix by another matrix. You can only do that if those inner numbers are the same of your order. If that's the case, then your result that your answer is going to be of order and you use the outer numbers two by three 
and you go horizontally in the first one and you drop in the second one. Yeah? And you go horizontally in the first one and you drop in the second one. Horizontally in the first one, you drop in the second one. Finished. Horizontally in the first one, drop in the second one. Yeah? And that's how you finish it. Yeah? And then you get those six pieces of information. All right? Uh, something you gotta try a few times yourself. Yeah? So I have another video with example questions for you to try and I'll give you the answer there. See you later.